Hi, I'm Brian with Pioneer Builders. We've been doing utility work. Let's make sure we don't get any water leaks. We're down in the utility trench. This is the water line that will come from the municipal supply and come down here. But if you come down, I want to show you what it is that we need to be doing. So we put a sleeve during the foundation process to keep that concrete from being in there. And then we have this PEX that comes out of it. This is the water supply that will end up supplying water to all of the plumbing fixtures in the house, the water heater, that kind of a thing. The key is I want to make sure that water doesn't find its way into this super easy opening. And what I'm going to end up using to do that is this little product here. This is a quick Crete, I'm sorry, hydraulic water stop cement. It says stops active water in three to five minutes. Now, many years ago, it might have been this brand. It could have been a different company. I can't say 100%. It absolutely works. But it's a pretty easy process to mix it together. A couple of other things. Hopefully, this will be enough water for me. A uh, little watering can. And then I could roll it, mix it in with my hands. I'm going to see if I can use my handy-dandy trowel here. And then just a little mixing bucket. It's, I think, a four-to-one um, proportion there. It's got cement, sand, admixtures. So in other words, not really big aggregate or really big rocks. Let's go ahead and mix it up and I'll show you how to apply it. You'll see inside we've got the concrete that's in a bag already. Just putting a little bit in. You don't want to do too much right off the bat. I'm not really measuring it. Now I'm putting a little bit of water in. The key is once you put too much water in, then you have to add more cement or concrete and you can just kind of get it run away from you if you don't take good care of it. So just added a little bit more water, just mixing it up here and uh, just about ready to go ahead and start applying it around that hole here. So just getting it nice and mixed up. Now that's a fairly viscous uh, mixture there. I'm going to see if I can't make use of it. The nice thing is I actually have the same situation right next door, but if I have to, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more of the Quickcrete product, but let's see how this smears on. Now, if I was a professional mason, I would have the tools to make sure that I I'm not losing as much material, but I think this is working. Yeah, I think that's working. And I want to make sure that I've got enough on the underside. So I'm just kind of smushing it in there. And there you go. Now I can I'll probably need to mix a little bit more next door. Let's go take a look at that one. Well, look what we have here. This is my son, Ethan. He watched me do the first one, and boy, does it look like he's doing a nice job. Man, I love having a kid. Well, wasn't that a nice little treat? All right, so because this has cement in there, I'm gonna put the rest of the water in just to try to keep it from setting. Of course, it is hydraulic cement, so I don't know how well this is gonna work but I'll end up going down the street and uh, scraping this off and cleaning it. Anyway, uh, just a very simple, pretty fast video. Nice to have Ethan with me today. And when it comes to building science, it's easy to forget about things that are below grade, but you do not want water to penetrate in. Yes, we spend a lot of time thinking about air leaks, water vapor, all of that kind of stuff. Liquid water, is will what is what will cause you to have problems with your homeowner in the future so make sure you're thinking about your penetrations not just on the walls but also through the foundation well i'm brian again with pioneer builders give me a follow on social media i'm at pioneer builders inc if you like this video give it a thumbs up i would love for you to subscribe to my channel and if you have any ideas about what you like to do when it comes to making sure water doesn't come in your foundations, leave a comment below. I'm over on Build Show Network slash go slash Pioneer Builders. Thanks for watching. Now go build something.